Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So my friends, as we begin our celebration tonight, to pray for the repose of our beloved Father Pepe, let us pause for a while and ask the Lord for pardon and strength for all our shortcomings. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that the soul of your servant and priest, Father Pepe, whom you honored with sacred office while he lived in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Paul, a slave of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's chosen ones, and the recognition of religious truth in the hope of eternal life, that God, who does not lie, promised before time began, who indeed at the proper time revealed his word in the proclamation with which I was entrusted by the command of God our Savior to Titus, my true child in our common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. For this reason I left you in Crete, so that you might set right what remains to be done, and appoint presbyters in every town as I directed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all your lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's wondrous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's wondrous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's wondrous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please rise, please rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening to you all. I think you know that I am uh, visually challenged. I uh, can't read or can't write. My, my macula has been affected. But I'd like to share with you some things on Father Pepe Arcelia. And I'll just speak extemporaneously. So I have like three or four points, an introduction on his life. And then what was the main thing in his life? And then third, a characteristic that many of us saw in him. And then just to conclude with a passage from the Gospel. First of all, Father Jose S. Arcelia is from Daet, from, excuse me, is from, uh, later he worked in Daet, but he's from Catanduanes, from Catanduanes. And he was born there 96 years ago. 96 years ago. He was a Jesuit for 77 years. But before that, he was in a seminary in Bicol for about two to three years. So a total of about 80 years of special service to the Lord, special orientation and dedication. He probably saw himself early as one of those picked by the Lord to be sent out to all the towns and villages that the gospel refers to. 77 years a Jesuit, 63 years a priest. That's a long time, 63 years a priest. He went through the usual course in the society, the normal procedures, the Vichy, Junior Aide Philosophy in Cebu, Berkman's College, and then theology at Woodstock, and uh, the tertianship in Belgium. And along with the studies, he was able to fit in his interest in history. He went to Loyola University in Chicago, got a master's in history after ordination, and then later went to Spain to f pursue further studies in uh, history. So you can see, he got to know the background of uh, the Philippines, the, uh, the, the Spanish se sections of our history very well. And when he came back, I noticed that he was assigned to two places only, Davao and Manila. Davao and Manila. He came to the Ateneo de Manila Jesuit residence in 1969. 
And he left in 2019 to come to the wellness center. About almost 50 years, a Jesuit residence. I was with him for about 30 years, almost 30 years of this period, 50 years. And what did he do at the Ateneo de Manila here? I noticed that great focus on history. This morning, I called my brother in Davao just to tell him that Father Arcelia had died. And he immediately said, the historian, the historian. This really characterized the life of Pepe Arcelia, history. So he taught history for many years here at the Ateneo de Manila until he became chairperson. He did a lot of research in history. He wrote a lot on history in the Philippines, especially the Jesuits in Mindanao. And later he did very valuable work as a province archivist down there. If you go down to the ground floor on the other side, the man who assisted him in his work there is here with us this evening. So remarkable work as a historian, especially on the Philippines. All you have to do is to Google his name, Jose S. Arcelia S.J., and look at the works, letters, so a lot of material that he worked on. I was able to get something from our rec room at Wellness. This is a coffee table book on Jesuits in the Philippines, but principally in Mindanao, the mission of the Jesuits. And I asked somebody to just look for his name, and they found his name there in an article which begins the series. So it's well worth going over, uh, excellent pictures and excellent write-up. I will leave this book there so that sometime tonight, tomorrow, you can look at it and see. There are other books like this which Pepe Arcelia worked on with his good friend named Monchin Cruz. So a lot of work has been done by Monchin Cruz. I hope he shows up in the next couple of days if he's not here. But remarkable work on the Philippines and it's historical from the historical perspective and aspect. A third, uh, the, one characteristic that many of us noticed in him. If you look at the article of Ambeth Ocampo in the Philippines, uh, in, the, in the papers today, uh, you will see a line which struck me. Solitude is an important part of the life of a historian. A very significant part of the life of a historian is solitude. He has, he, I think, refers to himself and a lot of the work that he does on the Philippine, on Philippine history, but that refers also to Arcelia. A lot of solitude, solitude in his room, preparing and preparing, doing a lot of research, solitude in the, in the archives, solitude in writing, solitude in, uh, in giving, in teaching, that the, the solitude that produces material he needed for his class well organized. So if you went to Jesuit residence at meals, you'd see him sitting at the back, at the back of the Jesuit residence on a table there. He would not join the others, he was a quiet person. But I remember going to the back a couple of times and saying, Pepe, may I join you? He said, sure. I said, I always talk to him. Every time I saw him, very briefly, how are you, Pepe? Think just short sentences and whatnot. So I, do, I kept up this contact with him all these years that I was there and here at Wellness Center. So he was very alone. If you stood outside Jesuit residence in the afternoon and you saw Pepe Arcelia coming out to the front and going towards the tennis court here, you didn't have to look at your watch. You knew it was four o'clock. So his schedule was such 
that he that there's a lot of a lot of work by himself and well arranged, well scheduled. So very much solitude, very much himself by himself. Even here at wellness, he said very few things. It was easy to deal with, but very little communication, very little contact. I'd ask him, how are you? I'm fine. Anything we can do for you? No. So just it's very difficult to engage him in any lengthy conversation. So, so, so this was a characteristic of his life which produced a lot of fruit, a lot of writings, a lot of, a lot of material. One of the things that impressed people, even in the States, was that the Philippine Clipper, each month at the back, had a two-page section on some aspect of Philippine history. I found this very interesting reading, and when I was in the States, an American told me, I like what he writes, and I read that every month. I think of that gospel passage where you have the servant and he waits for his master to come from the field and the gospel says, does he leave the master because he's now back from the field? And the answer is no. He stays there and serves the master until the very end. And then he attends to himself. In other words, who is the good servant? The man who stays with the master and serves him to the very end. This is how I saw Pepe Arcilia, 77 years as a Jesuit, quietly serving God. He never became rector, president, dean, nothing, 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 nothing. Just simple, simple service, simple. But I think in his own way, he did a lot for the society. And he gives us a very good example for many of us that this is how we serve God. This is how we are part of the 72 or 72,000, whatever it is, that we serve God quietly in our lives in total service as God invites us to do. Thank you. Let us now rise for the prayers of the faithful. Let us come to our loving Father, asking Him to give eternal rest to the departed and comfort and hope to the living. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our brothers, Father Pepe Arcilia, Father Bill Mali, and Father Terry Barcelon, whom we remember in his first year death anniversary, that they may receive the happiness of eternal life promised in them in their baptism into Christ's church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who mourn the loss of Father Pepe, that their grief may be lightened by the risen Christ and his promise to unite us again in our heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. For the grace of a well-prepared death, that when God calls, we will be ready with the lamp of faith alight and our baptismal robe unstained. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the forgiveness of sins, that our prayers and the offering of this atoning sacrifice will bring all the departed to the full vision of God's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our Lord. prayer. God of our salvation, you reward the just and console those who mourn. Hear our prayers in the name of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, your servant and priest, Father Pepe, may behold with clarity forever what he faithfully ministered here, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Father Pepe, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us call on God our Father using the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us now rise and let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we implore your kindness, O God, for Father Pepe, your servant and priest, that as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may bring him to be nourished by their truth and reality as unveiled in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now bless the, father, the body of Father Pepe. Lord, welcome into your presence, your servant, Father Pepe, whom you have called from this life. Release him from all his sins. Bless him with eternal light and peace. Raise him up to live forever with all your saints in the glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. And may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. See you, my